everybody. Today is Earth, Wind & Fire concert. We're gonna be at the Rady Shell in downtown San Diego. So we are on our way. Hopefully it's gonna be great. And there's gonna be a bunch of horns, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be really great. And um, plus they got the good scenery of like the ocean in the background and um, the Shell stage and it's uh, some sailboats and stuff. Cause last time we went there, it was for the Lettuce concert with Tower & Power. Tower of Power. So it's gonna be awesome. All right, see you there. Hello, my name is Miko Reed and welcome to my channel. Now I'm going to give a quick review on the actual concert venue. The concert venue was at the Rady Shell at Jacobs Park in San Diego. And the Rady Shell at Jacobs Park concert venue is definitely top notch, I must say. It's the, it's the best in the city, probably the best in Southern California as of right now. It is located on the San Diego Bay in the Marina District in downtown San Diego. Although the venue first broke ground in 2019, it was not open for the public until 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The design of the stage replicates a seashell, and the view and location is definitely one that you can't beat. We just recently saw Tower of Power and Lettuce Band featuring the San Diego Symphony at this very venue last year. The venue has a great ocean view, open air concert venue with AstroTurf grass for those that select grass seating, as well as the regular chair and table seating. When you go to the app, you have options to pre-order some food and beverages, but this does vary depending on the tickets you have purchased for the seating area. People that have selected tables located in the front closest to the stage have options to order fine dining meals by Top Chef winner Richard Blaze. They also have plenty of food carts and beverages located near the entrance. My husband and I got an open fired pizza from Bigger Restaurant and he ordered a cocktail and I had my truly strawberry and banana hard seltzer. It's only 5% alcohol, which is great. Pizza was super delicious with fresh mozzarella and prosciutto. Um, bring plenty of dollars because the food and drinks here are not cheap. First of all, who are they? For those of you living in the dark, Earth, Wind & Fire is a soul funk R&B band that hails from Chicago, founded by the original group leader Maurice White in 1969. The style of music is a fusion of sounds ranging from funk, jazz, Latin, disco, R&B, and pop. The band has sold over 90 million records, won six Grammys, four American Music Awards, and has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in the year 2000. Earth, Wind & Fire was a 12 to 15 piece band that included percussion, rhythm section, a dynamic horn section, and multiple vocalists. Most of the members all sang harmony parts and leads as well as played instruments. So it was all hands on deck and every player wore different hats. The band has been playing ever since and has a huge multi-generational fan base worldwide. The three original remaining members are Philip Bailey on vocals and percussion, bassist Verdine White, and Ralph Johnson on vocals and percussion. These three remaining members have played together for over 41 years. Maurice White has even produced albums for Barbara Streisand, The Emotions, Jennifer Holliday, and Denise Williams. Their horn section is their main centerpiece, and I must say their horn charts are complicated and not easy to play. I have played a few covers of the songs and sax, and the horn arrangements 
although not the original horn charts, consisted of a bunch of complicated 16th notes of riffs and runs. Very hard stuff. The band has over 21 studio albums, 4 live albums, 17 compilation albums, 19 video albums, and 62 single releases. So let's do the math. Um, So that's 123 total albums and releases. Wow. Rolling Stone magazine has stated that they are one of the greatest bands of all time, and I concur. They have definitely earned that title because they've put in the work. So here's a list of Earth, Wind & Fire's 10 biggest Billboard Hot 100 hits from rank title, Hot 100 peak position, and peak date. Let's check this out. The number one song, Let's Groove. Number two, Shining Star. Number three, After the Love Has Gone. Number four, Sing a Song. Five, Boogie Wonderland. Six, September. I thought September would be the first, but. Uh, Seven, That's the Way of the World. Eight, Get Away. Nine, Got to Get You Into My Life. And 10, Serpentine Fire. My final thoughts? I was overall satisfied and impressed with the performance and show. Lots of great imagery of their logo, kaleidoscope visuals, and even flashes of the original EWF live performances back in the day. Philip Bailey was still able to hit those head voice falsettos. Verdeen White could still slap that funky bass. And Ralph Johnson is still amazing as a multi-instrumentalist and vocalist. And although they used a full band with horns, trumpet, trombone, and sax, they were using tracks. They were playing live, but just against the tracks. Tracks were just used to embellish and enhance the live sound. However you may feel about tracks, um, I'm kind of divided on the issue. I see it as a necessary evil. Truth be told, a lot of your big famous bands use tracks during live performances. Hate to break it to you. Rolling Stones, Rihanna, Motley Crue, Pink Floyd, Boys to Men, Drake, Queen. Some of them are open about it. Overall, we're satisfied. The concert was great and we had a good time. We enjoyed the show. So thanks for stopping by. My name is Miko Ree. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified of new videos that have been recently uploaded. See you in the next one.